Hi everybody, welcome back to Work in the Verse. I'm Rick. We're a channel dedicated to exploring VR collaboration for productivity and creativity. In today's video, I'm going to continue our series on Meta's Horizon Workrooms. So we're all set up and you're now sitting in the workroom you've created, but the trouble is you're all alone and that's sad. Now you can't see it on my face because there's no face tracking on the Quest 2 but I have a sad, lonely face. Today we want to look at how to invite people into your workroom so that you can start collaborating with them and hopefully not feel so lonely. The easiest way to do this is to start from Horizon's Workroom Workplace page on your desktop computer. This is where you will do all kinds of administration, including uploading files, chatting, inviting people to your meetings, and more. There are two basic ways to invite people. One is to invite people to your workroom as collaborators or team members. And the other way is to invite them as guests. The first way will make them members of your workroom where they can view, share notes, chat on the workroom's webpage and join meetings in VR using their headset. This is great for more permanent members of the team and for those with headsets who want the full VR experience. The second way is to invite people as guests. For this feature, you need to have guest access on. As a guest, the person can only participate in a meeting as you would in any Zoom or Microsoft Teams meeting. You'll see everyone else in the room who are in VR, and they'll be able to see you on a screen with your webcam like you would in a normal Zoom meeting. To add a team member, click Add People in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Enter their email address and click Add. Pretty simple. But be aware that these members will need to register with a Meta account before they can access your room. They don't necessarily have to have a Quest 2 headset, but they will need to have a Horizons Workroom account. But don't worry, they'll be prompted to sign in or set up an account if necessary. The process for getting set up will be the same as what we covered in the previous videos. At some point, you'll be prompted for a pin to pair your headset with Workrooms. Now I had to do this when I first signed up, but Thor didn't, so who knows? Let me know in the comment if you had to enter in a pin or if they ditched that. So when the person logs into Horizon's workrooms in VR, they see a new room in the room section of their pop-up console screen that's sitting on their desk. So just click and you're in. These people can also access the workrooms page for this room and chat, add notes, and join as an outside participant through video. Now, if all you want to do is add a guest, click on this link icon. This will copy the URL of the meeting. Paste it in either in an email or an instant message and fire it off to anyone you want to participate. It's just like any Zoom or Teams call. In this case, the participant will not need to sign up with a Meta account, but will be directed to a workrooms page to join the meeting like any other video conferencing software. This is a great feature because it doesn't leave out those who don't have a VR headset. All they need to do now is set up their microphone and webcam, enter in their name and wait for the host to join so that they can get in and start collaborating. When inviting guests who are participating with a webcam, make sure you pick a good room configuration depending on the type of meeting you have so that people can see everyone they need to and get in on the conversation. So let's say you're in a workroom in VR and you forgot to invite a team member who needs to be there in your meeting. Well, you have two options. You can take off your headset, get onto your computer's team page and invite the person and then put your headset back on and get back into the meeting. The second way, which we really haven't talked about yet in this channel, is to fire up your computer while in VR. Workrooms lets you connect to your computer so that you can use it while in VR using the pass-through feature for your keyboard and mouse. But you can see your screen on the desk and it looks pretty good. There are some supported keyboards that make this experience even better, but I haven't tried that out yet. Right now, I have to rely on my hunt and pack keyboarding skills, but we'll cover that in another video. So you basically have to go to your team page and invite people from there, just as you would when you're outside of VR at your computer. 
Personally, I like to see this to be a little easier. I suppose if they're one of your meta followers, you can send them an invite or send them an instant message. But I'd like to see a list of your team members for your room somewhere on your desk console so that all you need to do is click on their name and invite them. Hopefully Meta will work on this as time goes on. It should be a bit easier, especially for people who are already members of the team. Well, that should do it. Let me know how it goes. Things are always changing, so let me know if I've missed anything. Take care.